Hello, hello, hello. It is I, Lamour, and uh, we are on the last level of the Vikings campaign. So this is the 22nd level that we've done, 10 on the main campaign and 12 on the Vikings campaign. And I want to thank all of you who have watched, who have commented, who have subscribed. I hope that this has made your day more lovely as we've played. So uh, there's the Empire of the Wolf. We came as fast as we could, but it was too late. The battle was already raging and the last bastion in the capital fell. The Empire had fallen into the hands of the wolves. Now the young Emperor is caught hiding in a small village. Uh, only a small part of the Imperial bodyguard was left and they could not uh, withstand the enemy's attack for long. So we're going to have to defend them, I assume. Uh, the Vikings, Romans and Nubians were out almost simultaneously, but none of them knew about the others. And so uh, they flagged, signaled to each other, which is clever. Glad they all had the same signaling language. Um, three nations agreed on a joint attack to save the empire, but then the storm struck them and the Nubians capsized close to the beach and hastily began to build a position. Uh, the Romans were driven away and ran aground on the coast of the main island, close to the wolf's troops, and the uh, Vikings fought bravely, but these bold navigators were unable to withstand the force of nature for long, and as they reached an uninhabited island off the coast before the raging storm tore their ships down. Now they've got a difficult challenge. Uh, the wolf's troops are already too strong. The Vikings had to extend their army and build a harbour. Only the strong ships and fighters would they succeed in landing on the main island, holding the beachhead and repelling the wolf's troops. So that's what we've got to do. We've got to build a good economy, strong troops, and establish a beachhead. Okay, so it looks like we are playing the Vikings. We're not. Uh, we're not playing the others but we've probably got to do this quick so that we can uh, get over to the others all right so uh, let's uh, let's do this uh, we will start off uh, as per usual we've got some farmland so that's going to be important um, so we do need to uh, extend and then we need to get the stone uh, we need to get trees uh, thinking this might be a good area for trees down here uh, or maybe over here, but we need to chop this down so we can get more farmland. I'm thinking four farms on this island before we do anything else. All right, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when this island is more fully settled. All right, we have uh, been growing, but it looks like the pirates have been growing too, so they've overrun the Imperials, and the Imperials are coming to us now, uh, it looks like. So uh, they're going to be with us. I, I don't know what that's going to do. Our scouts watch carefully. There's the, uh, the Emperor's son. They've been brought to the main uh, main headquarters. They are safe for now. But we're swearing our allegiance to the Empire and we're going to try and recapture his throne for him. So, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, in the meantime, we found gold. And that is really what we were waiting for. So, uh, we've got gold and coal is exactly what we need so we'll get the, the coal from there we'll get the gold from here uh, and we will put a mint right here and that will hopefully produce uh, a bunch of strong soldiers for us now our uh, the boat is ready to go you can see we've got wood uh, we've been getting lots of stone from here got fishermen, we've got some farms in, uh, and we did manage to get a metal worker uh, who produced a couple of extra uh, scythes for farmers. So actually this economy right here is going well, and once these mines go up, then we'll have our mint, we'll have our, our coin production, and we'll start hopefully uh, producing some soldiers over here uh, and building them up with our boats. So um, let's see, shipyard, let's get a couple more boats to, uh, to supplement, but uh, I do like seeing our two boats here. This is fun. All right, the uh, the Vikings have been brought another portal stone by the Nubian leader. Uh, the small camp of Nubian warriors was in distress, but they're not going to surrender. Oh boy, so uh, they're about to be overrun as well. They haven't brought us anything except uh, a portal stone though, so that's uh, it's not going to help us too much probably. need is warriors. Alright, so our watchtower is manned. We've got a mint for our gold and our coal here. And we've got a landing site. But um, yeah, everyone else has been pushed back into the sea. We've got to uh, be tactical. 
we've got to be very bold and brave. Which we will be. Okay, bad news. New squads of wild wolf pirates were constantly emerging from these storehouses. And so we've got to quickly destroy them. Okay, well that shouldn't be too hard because they're quite close to us, I think. Uh, so that's going to be our... Uh, where we want to hit where we want to hit them hard. We are within sight of the enemy, as you, as you can see. I'm building up a stronghold, I'm building up watchtowers, uh, and I'm doing that with the coins so that I can build up generals. That's the um, that's what I'm trying to do here. Uh, so I'm just going to try and build up generals on this island. That's really my concern because transporting soldiers through harbors is quite difficult. Um, you can get them to here, but then trying to get them over to the other side is difficult. So once I can start producing uh, soldiers on this side, once I find some iron, then uh, then life will get a little bit easier. But until then, we've got to uh, got to build up our generals on this side. Well, this is confusing. Uh, they can apparently build a quarry without having uh, a border, which is quite impressive, uh, but I guess it's just a mistake. Uh, I can actually attack their watchtower, but I would be attacking with weak soldiers at the moment. That's why we're building up uh, our generals here and here uh, and once those are done we'll also build up generals here uh, and here so uh, that's where we're going we're also going to send out geologists because there must be iron around somewhere we also believe that farming is the key so uh, we're putting in a lot of farms uh, and various uh, bakers and millers to keep our food production going so we have more than enough food to keep our economy strong all right we have repelled the first attack uh, and not only have we repelled the first attack but we've done so in style um, these guys actually just uh, yeah over overcame the enemy quite easily so uh, now we need to get a few more coins in uh, build up our soldiers even more and then we will go on the attack and uh, looking forward to that all right, too much is happening. <laughs> I'm under attack. That's the first thing. Oh, man. And uh, they've already beaten one of my guys. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is a real attack. But you know what? We've got strength. So I'm hoping, yeah, uh, we should be able to repel this attack as well. The other thing that's happening is we've found iron. So um, we'll destroy this and hopefully get a place that we can... What? Oh, there's no uh, nowhere we can mine, so we need to set up another little barracks there so that we can actually mine that iron out, because uh, that is important. Uh, and then we need to get our um, swords and shields and beer into this storehouse, uh, because now we have a, uh, a smithy. Uh, we also apparently need another rolling pin, so let's do that. So another attack repelled. Uh, and now is the time they're going to attack uh, once we have everybody in. So here we are. Uh, this is kind of uh, all or nothing in a way. If this works, well then we're probably close enough that we can launch proper attacks on both storehouses and the headquarters. Let's see how this goes. Very hopeful, actually, that uh, this attack will go well. So you just never know. Yeah, uh, this is a win. I mean, you can already tell. So I just want to take out a bunch of their uh, stuff. There we go. We were all down the last pieces of the world portal. So we're making preparations for one of the future levels. We need to stay the magician all that in that work, but threat goes by the wall forever. So uh, that has gone well. Look at what we can do next. Let's see. Oh man, uh, they're already attacked. So uh, here it comes straight away. I wonder if we could attack as well. And uh, just see if we can't sneak a bit out. So <laughs> but the counter attack has worked. That's great. Oh, but they then managed to uh, finally <laughs> take out my guy, so uh, we will just directly attack back. Uh, we should win. We should win this one, because he should be weak. There we go. Yeah. So, now, 
we'll uh, we'll just hope to reinforce a little bit. We've uh, we've blunted their uh, their attack. Well, maybe four will be enough. Let's give it a try. Uh, headquarters are often understaffed, so maybe uh, maybe it'll be enough. We'll see. Uh, it's looking pretty good at the moment, although uh, still some tough guys coming through. Actually, our generals are down, so yeah, probably not going to be able to take these guys out this time. And the attack has failed, so uh, that's disappointing. All right, so we're going to build some catapults and take out this uh, stronghold and this watchtower. Hopefully that would take out this storehouse as well. Uh, and then uh, we'll now to our attack on headquarters. That's the plan. Uh, we have now found iron, so this is where we get more soldiers from. And we get smithy down here, I think we can So yeah, we've got uh, more soldiers now. We've produced, it's pretty slow, so we need to speed that up. Look at our coins produced about the same. Look at your strength, this might be above, so just look at the wires of the So here's the first strike. And it's a miss. <laughs> of course it is. I'm not surprised. Hey, a hit. And another hit. So yeah, that's, uh, that's how it goes. Let's see if they can uh, add people back in. And at the moment, they can't. Oh, uh, yeah, they can't. But they're weak guys. Oh, it's tempting. It's tempting to try and take them out. And we're going for it. We're sending our strong guys, and hopefully, we'll be attacking their weak guys. So we'll see how this goes. But no, that's it. That's down. That's the, that's down, and that's their stra storehouse down as well. So that is huge. Uh, it looks like we're under attack immediately, though. But that means that this is weak. One uh, catapult hit will destroy that stronghold. So uh, this is actually good news for us. And not only that, but we have repelled this attack with uh, two generals, to sp well, two soldiers to spare. So uh, yeah, all in all, that's, uh, that's about it. That's got to be it. Um, are we under attack again? We are. They are attacking again. So they're really going all in. And another attack at repelled. So uh, yeah, they have, they have uh, committed and they have lost. All right, here it comes, the last coin in. Well, we have all the generals. And now it means that we can attack with uh, pretty much everything that we've got. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, everything we've got isn't that much. It's, uh, it's really just these guys and these guys. But uh, that should be enough. I'm hoping it's 20 uh, full strength generals. Let's see how it goes. Uh, this is it. This is the wolf. If we get this, I think that must be it. That must be the win. Right? But uh, you just never know. So uh, we've, got, we've got some tougher guys coming out, different levels. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely some weak guys in there as well. Uh, and there aren't any reinforcements coming from anywhere else. It doesn't look like. So, uh, yeah, this uh, looks like it could be us uh, so far in winning uh, the battles. Of course they could have up to um, what's 15 times 6, so like 90 soldiers in here against my 20. So uh, this could go badly, but I don't think it will. Look at all our guys waiting and um, yeah, just this one guy who's, <laughs> who's putting up a good fight, but no, it's too much. And there we have it. Vikings overran the last position. The pirates surrendered. The wolf fled away. He rode away in a boat. What? No one followed to punish him or save him from his fate, but the wolf still howled on until the eye of the storm reached him and carried him into the depths. It sounds like a uh, setup for a sequel to me. Uh, and if they do make a sequel, great. I would love that. But as it is, that is the wolf, uh, our Vikings campaign against the wolf pirate. Um, the Vikings have won and within the empire. Uh, we tirelessly help prepare the city, uh, and a few days later we put together the portal stone. Uh, the blinding flash of light shoots out and lights the night with the power of the sun, and then the light went out abruptly. What remains is a gentle blue flickering light, and in the middle we see the portal, which is going to lead us home. Congratulations, we have successfully completed the campaign of the Settlers 2 10th Anniversary Vikings. So uh, thank you everybody for joining with me. 
if you've been all the way through this, uh, please feel free to type in hashtag uh, 12 or more if you've watched all 12 of these campaigns. And of course, hashtag 10 or more if you watched all of the original campaigns. There we go. That's it. Uh, we will, of course, take out the rest of these pirates uh, because that's what I do. I, I can't just wait, uh, but I did enjoy, uh, enjoy this campaign. And look, we've even got some extras left over. And, and in the end, yeah, we, uh, we had more than enough to take them out. And actually, we were just getting stronger as time went on. Uh, so anyway, enjoy this game. I have enjoyed it. Uh, there's a couple more videos going to come out. Uh, just tips and tricks that I've learned, a few extras. Uh, and then a beginner's, settlers for dummies, as it were. But I'm looking forward to, uh, to focusing on the next game now. I hope you've had a great time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.